Ninety-two-year-old Mr. Chang is a third-generation immigrant born in San Francisco. He attended the Cortland Public Elementary School in Cortland, Sacramento County. Cortland had two public schools to educate students from grades one through grade eight, with one for Chinese and one for Caucasians. Mr. Chang knew the differences of the two schools at a young age. The good teachers were in the Caucasian school. Our teachers were inferior. They scolded us for not speaking English. Until the mid-20th century, the U.S. still practiced segregation. In 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court repealed this policy. The Gordon J. Lau Elementary School witnessed the transition from segregation to integration. This picture was taken in the 19th century during the early stage of Chinese schools. All teachers were Caucasian and most students were boys. So I, I, sh I show this to the children to express to them that this is part of the history of this school and this is, you know, could be their ancestors. In 1906, the Chinese school changed its name to the Oriental School, where some Japanese and Korean students began to attend. In 1924, it was renamed the Commodore Stockton School. In 1998, the name changed to Gordon J. Lau Elementary School to commemorate the Chinese American supervisor. Who do you think they just undertake? Barbara Benini taught there for 40 years. She recalled the first day of class. Uh, when I walked into the classroom, I remember um, the quietness of the classroom, the children who sat so very quietly, and how would I uh, speak to them through a different language. Forty years ago, the public schools stopped practicing segregation, but the language barriers still existed. In 1970, more than 3,000 second-generation Chinese immigrants studied in San Francisco's public schools, but none of them spoke English. They sat through classes without knowing what the teacher said. The Chinese parents sued the school district again for not providing special assistance to students who lacked English language skills, thus depriving them from equal education. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Chinese parents in 1974, mandating that the schools set up bilingual programs. Mrs. Lau's children studied in Gordon J. Lau Elementary School. After her husband passed away, she's worked hard to achieve a balance between her work and her personal life. She said that Gordon J. Lau Elementary School provided her with great support. The environment here was good. The teachers were friendly and there were bilingual classes. I hope that the kids can integrate into the society. I speak Chinese only. At first, I was worried about them for not keeping up with English. But they did well in both English and Chinese. The bilingual programs at the Gordon J. Lau Elementary School helped many Chinese students transition smoothly into their new environment. I came to this school two years ago not understanding English. The teacher, when they teach, um, 
they can explain why or how. This class helps them to transition from Chinese into English. During the process, they do not forget the Chinese heritage. Starting with Mamie Tape, and for over a hundred years, Chinese immigrants have fought hard for equal education. The schools have stopped discriminating against Chinese children. They even encourage students to retain their native language. I think my personal way of being is to always teach the children to respect their background, their language, um, and their history. I feel that the children are fortunate to study here, regardless of ethnicity. This is so different from decades ago.